myself and die there's only room to grow and I know and I know and I know what's out there safety leave me crazy cold and Hello, hello, hello! How's everyone doing today? Hopefully, you guys are doing good. Turn down the music a bit because it's kind of loud. And I'm pause this game. Jump into it, and hopefully, we're good to go. Fingers crossed, at least. So, we've got Russian dude. Hello, Russian dude. And. Kirk, is that? Paul, George, Chris. Hello, hello, hello. Nah, I'm doing good, Paul. Had a lazy day, though. Haven't done a whole lot. They really need to, actually. There is waypoint, drive cars. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Irish family, what's up, dude? How you doing? Alright, that's going. Hold on. It's probably gonna wanna save, yep. Hey Adam. I don't know if I need to proto laze or not. No. Field 19 does need a bit of fertilization. Because if you guys remember it was all whacked out when it grew, so I may rock the uh, Amazon for a while today. Get a bit of spraying done in it. Haven't actually driven this myself. Are you getting black screen, mate, on Giant's Island? I have not tried that Giant's Islander. Daniel, I've heard a few people from what Rainbow Dave has said that have had issues with Giant's Island. Oh, what tractor is your favourite just now? Um, same as they have been throughout, basically, the John Deere's. They've had internet problems, constraint today, yeah, I uh, saw he posted in the group chat earlier and then apparently some kid with very, very bad spelling told him bye and it meant like saying goodbye to someone, a better setup. Like, really kid, are you that? Mm. 
Dave's internet is temperamental. There's nothing he can do about it. His provider through Ireland is well known to be a pile of steaming, steaming poop. Seriously need seasons? You'll be waiting a while, dude. I really don't anticipate seasons to come anytime soon. I guess a major, major script. Hey, Adam. Hello, for hello. But hello. Alrighty. I guess what I'll do is I'll split the field into two like I usually do. Hey, Madam, what's up? So, turn the music up ahead. Go over to my farm sim window in the storeroom deck. Auto whip. That's what I need to do. Yeah, he wasn't asking for it, when's it gonna be out or anything. It's just a case of, I wish it's out. <laughs> Same as I do. I think it's further on than people think. Uh, I'm probably wrong. I, I agree. I think it is further on than people think, and I've said this for a while now, and you know that as well. I've been saying that for a while. But, at the same time, it's still going to take a while. I think that's something everyone can agree on. Like, it's a script that is just an ungodly script within a script, so it's going to take a while. Plus, racking the main coder for Seasons, Realms Modern, he's employed by Giants too, so he's got to balance his time. He probably, I would imagine, I know I wouldn't, don't want to spend my day coding for the game while being paid as an employment and then go back and do it in my own free time as well so he's got to balance that otherwise he'll get burnt out of either well, seasons or his job and hopefully uh, neither what do you think of micro farms i haven't tried it I haven't downloaded it uh looking at it i think it's from the pda now frank it looks an interesting map it's not it's my style uh, it wasn't when it was released and it isn't now Hey, Archie. The bear in mind, uh, Mercury's been out before. It was released last year, too. Well, the last version of the game. How long have you been playing Farming Simulator? I've been playing Farming Simulator since 2000... And, well, Farming, Farming Simulator FS9. So, 2009 version of the game. I've got... Jeez, what, five years of it on my channel alone. I've been playing Farms for a hell of a long time. And I was playing it longer than that before I put it on the channel. That's still far off. Oh, 100% Jim. I get what you mean. Hey, Archie. Some good miles today. Eh, I don't know. Nothing that really scored, really uh, piqued my interest. The only thing I'm definitely surprised about was the Massey Focus and Baylor. We've never had that in the game before. I didn't download it. I'm quite happy with the class one. But I may download it, just in case I use it for variety at some point. Just watching these recent video uploaded yesterday. Sweet. Appreciate it. It's nice to have this thing back, although it's kind of crappy interior. It's a European sprayer, so I'll uh, happily use it. The American stuff is just too big. Way too big for the European roads. I don't think they're even over in the Europe. So today marks the day of me bringing back coffee for a live stream.
There's no real reason I'm actually fertilizing this. Just want to put that out there, other than the fact it's something else to do. New silage fork from Flickr. Yes, I did like that, admittedly. Uh, I'm kind of sad that I've finished all of my silage stuff for now. Hey, job. Now, do I need to... Oh, that's okay. Hey, Oxy. How's it going, buddy? Like how... I'm flooded you are compared to the some YouTubers. I think I know what you mean. Uh, I'm not sure if I do follow you, though. If you or someone else, dumb down that comment. <laughs> That's the reason I'm having coffee again. Uh, did you have any issues with silage bunk? Uh, I've had it overflowing at the back. Look a little bit. Yes, if you, just like in FS uh, 17, if you back the trailer right up to the back of the bunk and, and then unload, you will skip past the tip call. You need to go a few meters in from the back of the bunk and then tip it in and you'll have zero issues. And that is also if you're using a leveler, you cannot push it all the way through to that wall. Again, it will push it right through. Uh, the mass bearer is very nice on a made it too. Uh, no hoses, I think it's a new model, not sure why. I think it's a new model as well. I've never seen that in the game before. I did wonder if it had hoses. Unfortunately, Giants won't let me do a Marwell extended on the mod hub. Why? Okay, yeah, 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 I get you. I've always been known for that. Sometimes there's limitations to that, like when I when the, I got the game early access, there was an embargo that we couldn't really say what we thought of the game, but that is just like any game or anything like that when you first get it, when it's early access, it's quite often you get an embargo where you can't say your own opinions on it. But after it was released to the public, have at her. We were there to sell the game, not to trash it at the beginning. They wouldn't accept it. Really? I wonder if that's because it's a redo of the map. I bet if you said, okay, what about if you pull down the original and then I uploaded that? I wonder what they'd say. Who was that you were speaking to, Kenny? None of those bailers have hoses, really? Damn. Well, you know there's a way around that, Oxy, actually. I just thought of it even more so extended but it would have to require a new game save because it would be technically an update to the existing map but a brand new game save would be required that would be the way around it And it would suck, but that's the only way you'd get around that, for sure. Plenty of mods dropping recently? Yeah. Yeah, I think the mod hub and giants are slowly getting back to what they should be. Won't be worth my time. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oxy is pretty, uh, Sorted with the stuff that he wants to work on. Yeah. 
Basically making the map bigger. With that being said, if this is a full two times map, it's probably not much bigger you can go as a Roxy. Unfortunately, as far as American maps go up on the mod hub, they're very rare, dude. There was only two decent American maps last year. And that was Lone Oak by Bullet Bill. That was a freaking good map, and I think it really got screwed over by the community in general not paying attention to it. And NLD's map. That was a decent American map. Nicely detailed, well put together. We were talking about, the, unfortunately, the American community last night in Giants Discord, and even the guys from North America that were in there talking agreed of what was said. Unfortunately, there's too many of them out there that are very talented, but keep stuff to themselves and just put it out there for people to look at and keep behind closed doors, basically. It sucks. Oh, that's going quite good. We'll run down and head to the chickens. Uh, today is the day that I'm going to get a few chickens. How's the brain trail? Oh, I parked it around the back, didn't I? There's a couple. I'm not going to name names. But there are a few, unfortunately. And they're talented. They are stupidly talented. But it's a case of, oh, you learn for yourself. It's like, really? Why bother showing the mods off if you're not prepared to how people or expect those questions of Blink? I never played that map. I think I had a brief, br very brief look around it. For whatever reason, oh, I, know, uh, I, I straight up tell you, Black Sheep's maps, they turned me off massively when they kept on releasing them and they kept on passing on the mod hub with masses and masses of issues like huge fields that are just unplayable and the testers over at Black Sheep clearly just play they don't physically go around and test the map which drives me up the wall and that really put me off of Black Sheep's maps although that being said Black Sheep has been kind of quiet recently Hey, baby, what's up? Mare and Outback got samey. It was, it was okay to begin with, and then he did too many versions just to appease guys on console with uh, various different versions of it. Which, Oxy, if you really wanted to be a dink about it, you could probably bring up that previously, but of course, stuff's changed now. Oh, I just knocked my coffee absolutely everywhere. I'll be back.
But all I'll say to the coffee comment there, as I am here, I'm just cleaning up everything, so I can't really do much right now, is, uh, no. Not unless you want to drink it out of my Xbox One controller and the very expensive string deck that just wore a whole cup of coffee. Along with me now looking like I've completely and utter wet myself because it is all over my shorts, which I am now going to go and need to change as well. But bear in mind, I just had a shower. It's kind of irritating. And I may even have to change my underwear too, because it's probably gone through to there. You guys can most definitely laugh at my expense. First stream back for a while, me drinking coffee. And it goes freaking everywhere. And my biggest worry is, is this 130 pound stream deck still going to work? Which... Fingers crossed, it is. Yeah, GG indeed. So I will be back. I am going to go change my shorts. As well, it really looks like I've absolutely peed myself. Film webcam off before. No, the webcam was on when I did it, but it was obviously not being able to show. And this is set up in the computer room. <laughs> so even though the webcam's already off, you wouldn't see anything anyway. All right, I'll be back momentarily.
And now back to our regularly scheduled broadcast. Lord, I literally had to change everything. All right, let's go to the game. Webcam. Stream Deck still works. My precious. If you guys are wondering what I'm on about when I say my Stream Deck, I'm on about this. This thing is a lot of money, and I don't know what I would do without it. So I just need to plug in my controller, because I got it. it. Luckily, I don't think very little got on the desk. It literally just landed all over me. Well, thank you, Steve. Alrighty, to celebrate this, I'm going to drink what's left in my coffee. Gone. That was a full cup. Luckily, it was cold. Hang about. Oh, please hang about. More to come. Yeah, no kidding. Me drinking water instead. I'm kind of tempted to go make a coffee, but no sense. Alright. Let's continue, shall we? How's everyone doing? Laughing at my expense, no doubt. Yeah, but I made the coffee before I jumped into the shower. So, uh, it, it could be drinkable. Apparently, I made it so it was wearable. And I did everything okay. No! No, I just spilled a whole, whole cup of coffee over me. And the uh, stream deck and my Xbox controller. Luckily, not much hit that. It seemed like I took all of it. It looked like I had uh, heed myself, to say the least. Even my underwear was wet. So clean clothes in the wash. <laughs> I think a baby bottle may help. I, thought, I actually forgot I had the trailer on. To be honest, it's times like that I wish I had a travel mug in here. Instead of something that's got a huge orifice. It's because I put it right, I went to reach for my phone and I put it right where my phone is. Well, just actually in front of the laptop. I should have kept on putting it off to the side, like I usually do. That BRB picture is beautiful. That picture, I believe, is one that I found off of Facebook. Not my picture. If memory serves correctly, it's from a um, few guys at that farm over in Australia, if memory serves correctly. Was it decaf? Oh, no, I didn't think it decaf. All of the, all of the decaf, all of the caffeinated stuffs. It, it was black coffee though. I don't drink uh, coffee with sugar or milk or cream or anything of that nature. Use a seal, seal top of straw. Oh yeah, seal top of coffee. Uh huh. All right, let's uh, go buy some chickens. So we'll get two roosters as an experiment and a hundred hens. Not that I mean to do that. Does it not tell you how many that is? Really? Mind only drink cold drinks. Oh, fair enough. I have no idea how to pronounce your name, dude, but uh, incredibly long name. Hello. Did that not buy them? Actually, we'll do 60 for now. There we go. That'll do. Can you remember Tom X55? Uh, yeah, what about Tom X55? Do roosters actually make a difference to the productivity? No, me and Dave were actually uh, 
questioned that yesterday. We have no idea. I bought two because I'm wondering if they'll breed. If that's even a thing. I don't know. Oh. There we go. I wonder what it was going to do. Do we need to give them... No, it's just clean us. Okay. Okay, so we're good to go. Until there's a pig feed mixer out, I don't think I'm going to bother doing anything pig related. Did Tom X stop modding? Uh, no, he didn't stop modding. He... He's got a job as a contractor. So, life. You gotta remember, as these guys that were at college, school, wherever, did mods beforehand, as they get older, go into the working world, or work on a farm, whatever, like I said, a working world, you'll find them stopping. And at the end of the day, they're busy, and especially Tom with contracting. He's busy most of the year. Not like a regular farmer, they'll have a bit of down. A bit of downtime there. Is getting on now. Hopefully, else one's done. Thanks, Steve. Appreciate it. I can really want, I really want my coffee, that sucks. God. In the grand scheme of things, actually, I could probably fast time now. What do you guys think? Shall we fast time? Fast time so this can, uh, wow, well, that this field mainly can grow. I'm gonna have something to do. I don't think I'm gonna bail any of this. Actually, I will need to bail a little bit of it for uh, bedding for when we get cows. Hmm, forgot about that. Yeah, we'll need to do a bit. I will have to first forward the time, so when we're doing that one as well. Watch this thing. As you say, that's life of modders. Did you even say maybe you know it? Landy for FS21. I will, I will still be around, but not to the same degree. Like I said, I've been saying, there's going to be a lot changing this year for me personally. A hell of a lot. And most of you can put two and two together without me saying it straight up right now, because I'm not prepared to share anything on it. But there's going to be a lot changing, and yeah, I, I will be a lot scarce on the channel. Will I be around the same form as FS21? Probably not. What gaming computer would you recommend? I want to start gaming on PC, but don't know what to get. I want one. No, that was not too expensive. If you want to get into PC gaming full stop, like you've gamed on console and you want to get most of those games on there, save. To begin with, depending on how old you are, which obviously I don't know. Uh, but if you just want it for farm sim, then 
I custom built all my computers. My laptop was custom built from CyberPower PC. My desktop back in the UK was custom built by me with parts I picked out. As far as desktop goes, I will always build my own. Oh, really? Dang. Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> Good evening, and how are things keeping today? Well, I spilled a whole cup of coffee over me. I was lucky it wasn't too hot. Uh, I got over my stream deck, my controller, I had to go change because it has soaked me down to my underwear. So, uh, not, bad. not too bad. It's only going to be a daddy. No, Landy is not going to be a daddy. Hell no. That will not happen until I have a full time job. You can actually support a kid. Let alone have our own place. You're running off of one income if that was the case. Would be nice, exactly. Back in the day, I used to make a considerable amount of money off of YouTube. I haven't done for the last three years. Obviously, situation with me changed that considerably. So, getting a full-time job in the UK was a uh, well, kind of pointless. Luckily, oh, has it got weeds all over the place now? Yeah, this whole field's turned into weeds. What I'll do is I'll lease a weeder. Actually, shouldn't the cedar cultivate that in? Ah, that's one's horrid. Hey, John. Been watching for the last video. Uh, video. Had a lot of streams, but times have changed. Well, it well. Oh, 100% it will. I, I still plan on keeping up with the channel, but to be honest, it will be more, like I was alluding to yesterday, I think it was, it'll be more stuff that I'm really, really passionate about, like automotive stuff, mechanics, stuff like that. I'd love to be able to do projects on the channel, doing stuff that I am really into, and that's mechanical stuff. I haven't got the space, I haven't got the money to do anything like that now, otherwise I would totally do that. That's what I'm really, really passionate about. Instead of sitting behind a computer, sitting in front of a machine of some sort and working on it. With a video camera. No, I actually need to wait until the headland's done on that. Are we doing anything crazy? But, we, where is our combine? Yeah, I see we'll cultivate in the mid full circle. Say down there, actually. That's pretty cool. I'll back down. Hey, AJ, what's up? AJ, what's up? I see the question marks, but don't know what you are referring to there. Because I haven't bought a new combine yet. That's why. Casually run over the trailer. 
When is the update out? Update for what? Uh, Marwa? When Giants gets with, if that's what you're referring to. It's probably going to be a while though. It's going to be a while before we get a new combine too. I was getting into the cows, I want to get those sorted and purchased fairly quick. Let's be honest, the machinery is going to cost an absolute small fortune. So we could even be two harvests away from doing any of that. Case a HPO mod, Kinder Boy Worker. I'm not sure. This is a mod. Yeah, this uh, this is a modded one. Come by. Not sure, John. Uh, what Puma you're on about, dude? I'm not going to quit YouTube completely. Stuff's going to slow down, just like anyone that's going to be working full time. As stuff gets closer, I will share more info. But right now, I've got no info to share. Alright, course play. Actually, first of all, let's switch off the... Not that one. That one window. That one. That was a little bit on What feed are you giving them, Andy? Because it seems like if you just give them grass and hay, they'll eat a crap ton. If you give them... Uh, silage, it's not too bad. But there again, it also depends on how many cows you've got too, because I've had a, a little on Ravenport, so I can't say I've really experienced having a whole bunch of cows yet. And I haven't had them use a lot of feed. How long do you think before we get season? I'm going to say it's probably going to be summertime, towards the back end. You guys out of prior and I'm not going to give you any info until I'm, I can share stuff. Oh, is this cable messing up now on the Xbox controller? A lot of cows, very hard work, especially, no doubt. 20 cows and they take about 100,000, really? Dang! Oh, okay, that's what you guys mean. Yeah, no, I have no idea. I, I don't actually know specifically what's in the 1.3 other than what's in the changelog currently. And uh, as far as I'm aware, Giants haven't updated the uh, beta version of 1.38 even. It's probably all gameplay reasons I've done it. Most of the stuff that is done in Farming Simulator isn't done for any other reason than gameplay. And game balancing. Now, at the end of the day, this isn't supposed to be a realistic game. Though a lot of people want that. It's something that's never really going to be. If enough people complain about it, though, it's probably something that will get adjusted. Hopefully I'll be able to damn see this field. I'm really not too sure. Now, I will bail a part of this field. I will not bail much, though. MF, I haven't got an updated mod list. 
I haven't got a mod listed in the 17, which I should have taken out the um, description a while back. Fifty K size you stay down. The number will be in the base game files, which will screw you if you do any multiplayer. Come on, you tell us you're buying out giants. Oh yeah, buying them out with what money? Which economy do you play on normal? Possibly, Aaron. That'd be kind of... Uh, no, it's PTO-driven, isn't it? Probably not. I'd imagine not, anyway, if it's PTO-driven. Should be able to go now. Yeah, but the sprayer attached to the forklift. Yeah, stuff will attach, but will it be able to function without a PTO? Just like IRL. You can attach, if it's got a hitch, you can attach almost anything to anything, everything, but will it work is another question. Actually, what do I want to put in this field? The air soybeans again, and soybeans are kind of profitable. Yeah, we'll rock soybeans. Fun if Rockstar Games bought the rights to farms. Oh lord, how would that be fun, Kane? One, Giants would never sell the rights to farming simulator, let's be honest. This this is their bread and butter and they would have all their employees probably unemployed. And two, they would turn it into some MMO MMO with damn shark cards they'd probably call cow cards or something. Why? Why? Subsoil on a five mile an hour. Well subsoiling is exactly uh can't exactly go fast on the tractor. Bear in mind, you look at the maintenance on both pieces of equipment. They're getting low. Look at the look at the crustiness on the front weights here. So they're both losing horsepower. Let's just say we'll be repairing them once we get to the uh, end of the field. And this is almost full. No, it is not in there anymore, Andy. It is under items.xml for the animals because technically the animal pens are placeables, right? So all of that stuff is under items. Moo Moo cards, there we go. Slurry cards. Yeah, if I find the feed is way too high, which, judging by what everyone's saying, it's, uh, it is, you can go to the XML and you can just put a uh, crap ton of feed in there if you wanted to. And see if it gets fixed 1.3. I have no info on 1.3 at all other than what's out there already on the forums. Uh, how do you know how many roosters you need? How many chickens? I have no idea, John. I just bought two for the hell of it. 
I don't know if it's any need to have roosters in, to begin with, to be honest with you. Uh, because this is the first headland, we may have to drive through the hedge. Grand Theft Farmson. <laughs> nah. It wouldn't happen, let's be honest. Actually, after I'm done streaming, I'm um, reinstalling GTA again. I kind of want to get back as well as PDFR. But that was a game for myself I just played to mess around. What I do want to play is... Okay, well, the, uh, well, the new guns that come out for Hunter Call of the Wild today. How am I going for? Well, because at least 10 minutes were taken up by me cleaning up coffee all over my desk, I will probably go until maybe half, half eight. And to give you guys a decent string. Way, I was reading chat. Until Giant Sunday start to change a charge for the mod for downloads, they never will do. As part of the terms and conditions, they physically can't and then uh, it would as far as licensing goes with companies and stuff like that they couldn't you would literally only be able to put stuff up on the mod hub that giants have licenses for if they were going to start to do that type of crap so they, they, they literally physically couldn't they are really screwed up what will screw giants if it gets fully passed is article 13 with the copyright crap that will screw giants and pretty much everyone over hey Nathan uh, obviously it was around before I spilled coffee all over myself that rock and rolling. Very good. Do you want to start charging us for Moz if this would die? They couldn't pull. They straight up couldn't. I know you guys are just talking pie in the sky random, but they physically couldn't. The thing that keeps farms him alive is the mods. The giants know that. That being said, there is less and less upcoming modders joining the game. So how long does Farmsim actually legit have? Who knows? Looking at the items X mile, it looks like you can only add feed. I'm not seeing something that would say how much one cow needs to fill the bar. Yeah, that would be base game, Andy. And I don't recommend you doing that because you would basically foo by your in-game. Uh, yeah, John, I will swap to the triaxle. So if CD is around, hurry up with that one. Modders get that. Then you, you then you turn it into a job chart. But the reason Giants could never charge for that is you take uh, a, a brand that's not in, in the game. So someone mods a Kubota into the game. Giants do not have the license for that. Giants do not have the license to sell the, the license. So therefore they would be breaking all sorts of copyrights and legal laws as far as that goes by effectively selling that on. You couldn't do that. Thank you, Nathan. Just going to step that one up. Yeah, I wouldn't mess with that out of well. Uh, 
but you see what I'm looking for. So, oh yeah, I get what you're looking for. I would personally, I'll just add a crap ton of feed right now and take it on the chin. Is what I would personally do. No, first and foremost, Nathan, that was probably a scam. Let's be honest. Well, Flurry of us hit that. <laughs> hey. Where is it going by? Ah, it's going to be full. Come around here. The engine sound is going in and out. That's because I was tabbing in and out of game chat. I was banning uh, yeah. an account. Yeah, Mass Bailey does look nice. Got a high lift cam and the 110 King Cow, but today King Cow? I'm not sure what you mean. Can you guys bop that Momo crap? As well, you guys start talking about that crap, I will ban you. I have got no shakes in doing that. Please do not bring it up. That is straight BS that I am not going to put up with on my channel. No flash. As we drive past the case, as you ask that, it just turns out I've got a good chunk of John Deere's I like. I have no idea, John. No idea. I've never heard them called a king cab. Do you mean crew cab? Is that what you meant? And it was autocorrect? What engine have you got in it, Aaron? Diesel or V8? Your Land Rover made pickups before, dude. Don't get Fabio, what about yourself? Is in traffic. Where's it getting all messed up? Oh my. Can you inquire about the detail of the Homo Terra variant? Martin, I don't question about stuff like that. I let them do their thing. They've got issues, obviously, going on. So I am letting them be them, and we'll see that when they're ready to show it off and bring it up. Good, good. Glad to hear. Right, that's on the last pass of uh, Headland too. Sweet, go repair this. And this is doing its ting.
I love the wear on the header, it sucks that it brings the speed down so much. If there was a way of that being stopped, I'd totally do that, but that's just the wear mechanic. Go 50 likes, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm with Steve on that one. How many likes will you go anyway? It's actually almost done this field. Wow. So I think what I'll do is once we're finished seeding this field, is where we'll call it. Hey, George. That was weird. Oh, dang. Missing input, object, closed door. Oh, lure update. Yeah, I wonder if Foxy knows about that. I uh, will print screen just in case. Somehow I don't think he's here though. Yeah, 300 TDI, crew cab. Five, four, company, put on there. Oh, nice. For the one, nice. Not bad, not bad. Hey, Maverick. Oh, these two are going to have issues again very soon. Two of the combine. 45 likes. <laughs> Literally just asked that. That's too funny. Yeah, hey, lunch. And hello, Paul. A lot of people drifting in as probably going to be wrapping up relatively soon. Listen, that's finished. Hey, Sam. Yeah, this is finished. Go wash this off and repair both of them. Oh, 
Imagine some of FS19 features in FS17, that'd be cool. Or just play 19. What do you do with the amount of silage you had? Uh, put it all in the silage bunk and it's now fermenting for three or four animals. For the cows. That's the whole reason I made it. I don't do biogas. I really have very little interest in doing any of that. Not mean getting that. Tab. Yeah, look at the condition on it, that's why. I reckon if you know, uh, George, I believe from what I understand, it literally just affects speed of harvest. It doesn't actually lose yield. Uh, I'm not sure what you mean, Apple. What's the effect of doing no maintenance for powered vehicles like tractors, combines, stuff like that? Anything that's got an engine, you will lose horsepower. Implements and stuff like that, like this uh, Colty plow, you saw it was going around the field at like 4 mile an hour, 3 mile an hour. So you'll lose speed quite drastically. Cedars and stuff like that, same thing. Combines, headers, I believe you don't lose yield. Where did I used to have this? I think it was up there. And as far as trailers and stuff like that, there is no loss. Other than they look awesome. Uh, yeah, I remember that. The one that had the cutter on the side, the sickle bar. I assume that's your one you're on about. Yeah, I wish the paint stayed worn too. That's the only criticism about it. Like, the paint being worn should be to do with age, not necessarily maintenance. I feel, personally. Especially on plows and stuff that are in the ground or combine headers that get worn hardcore. It's, yeah, kind of makes sense, right? Effect of not washing it? No effect. You can literally leave it dirty. Most of the time I'll wash it for something else to do. Hey, Gabriel. Gabriel, what's up? I'm sure we'll need to jump up. Go chase down the combine again. Oh, 100%, George. But you got to remember, the farming simulator is not supposed to be a realistic game. It's all about game balance and gameplay. Realism is a very, very small factor that goes into any of the game other than are the models realistic and that's it really they don't give a crap about gameplay realism it's all about game balance and performance so i'm stupid what's up Trailer lose capacity with wear? Uh, not from what I've experienced, they don't. This trailer holds, what, 21,000 litres? They probably know about the issue, Andy. And if you're on their Discord, you can put it in there too. 
I knew I should have kept the towel in this room. The, where the coffee landed on the floor is soaking. Unfortunately, he had to nuke the uh, funny contract out of here too. Uh, what I was even looking for? Wrong window, actually. Yeah, 20,250 litres. And we're at 10,000, which is almost half. No, he's not on about the animals freezing, Nathan. He's on about the amount of feed that the animals take, which a lot of people have been complaining about. Because they're taking, like, for, like, 20 old cows, it's taking 50 or 1,000 litres of... I think it's game balance, it's probably what they'll come back and tell you. So now I've just felt where the coffee landed and it's being soaked. I may actually end the stream very, very, very shortly. Probably after this. So I can go clean that up. I don't want that to stay in there. Jess will complain the room stinks of coffee. <laughs> Combine I want to go with at some point after we've sorted out the cows, maybe even we'll do it next and the cows will have to wait a bit longer, which I think they will, is the um, ideal combine. That's the combine I want to go with, and I want to say I've earned it. And then will we either get rid of that or keeping it, I don't know yet. Animal species mod? No, I haven't, Paul. I've seen it. Don't know really what it's entailing. Coffee never stinks. She hates coffee. She really hates coffee and hot drinks in general, but especially coffee. Me and her mum both enjoy coffee quite a lot, and yeah, she hates it. So just to prove the fact of where it doesn't affect trailers. 20,250, and again, after we come out of this window, we go over here and go to trailers all the way up to the back. Or oh, does it? Oh, you can adjust the ca capacity. There you go. I forgot about the silage capacity. So, yeah, it being a standard trailer like this, 20,250. Why not the case? The idea was so big. The case is a pile of crap. It looks horrible. It's an incredibly old model that they've barely done anything to. That's why. I'd rather use brand new models to the game than stuff that I have been ported across the last four versions of the game. That's why. And the quality of the cases are terrible. Including the contract. They, they are just absolutely crap. When you look at it... Oh, where is it? Now, here's the case... In general, yeah, they may have gone around it and messed with it. One, I, I just don't care for it in general. But the, you look at the texturing and everything on it. And then go over to this. The whole quality of the model, the whole quality of the texture and the lighting on it. You're talking about two different machines, two different qualities. This is a way better model than this, without a shadow of a doubt. This combine has been around since FS13, where they put it in titanium. Where this is brand new. That's why I want that. Same with if you look at most of the machinery I'm using. It's all brand new stuff. For that exact same reason. Oh yeah, glass would be. But that being said, ideals in the UK as well. And this case combines in the UK. There's John Deere combines in the UK. The uh, John Deere, the big S here is the 790. It's just that's an American version of that combine for whatever whatever reason it is. I just don't like it. 
I, I think they did two EJ. I can tell you straight up that model is not new. You just need to look at it. Oh, have you pulled? Nice. I don't know what I'll go with. No, these are new models, they're just a lot smaller. Oh, is that? oh, it's almost done, I might as well just leave it be. Actually, no, I will. I'll stop it on this road, be easy to connect it back up. There's many differences in types in the UK. Yeah, exactly, Steve. Oh, did you pull? Nice. If they're a nice combine, I just wish the one we had in game was both American and Europe spec. Did I try on console? No, it's not. PC only. Unfortunately, you'll find a lot of the European brand stuff only being on PC only, as the way the licensing now works to get it on console. Giants have to seek the license now, it's not just the mod creator. CD Models yesterday did a very good explanation on it. I think both are sold in the UK. Is that dirt? Yeah, it is dirt. I'll call it quits once this is full. How about that? Now I'm asking are uh, the FS19 JD models current ones in real life? I'm not sure about this one. I think they both are, yeah. They probably are. I mean, you just have to look at the whole design of it. It's fairly mod. I'm pretty sure they are. This combine that's got that error. Let me do something to kind of trigger that. Let's load up that. I'll clear that out. I'd love to know what's causing the animation object or. Oh. Bugging me that. Oh, the Clayson's, jeez. It's a name I haven't heard for a while. Uh, the stock 790 is the closest UK version. Yeah, it's the pipe is the issue, and the header width, and the distinct lack of a trailer for that header. And if you were going to get to be into it, the uh, whiff boards on it, which I kind of like them with other whiff boards. Have that issue with my map. Is it the map, Nathan? Well, you're probably. Is it is it the map or is it a mod, like a machine? Class Mega was a nice combine. Yeah. Which one? <laughs> the map I'm guessing. Yeah, I wonder if uh, Oxy knows about that one. Catch you later, Flash. Yeah, I'm about to finish up as soon as this is done. Emptium. Which it is now. Is where I shall bid you guys farewell. So we'll shut that down.
Oh, something's ri- hmm? Okay, that was weird. I couldn't get out of the machine. I, I wondered if my controller was bought because of the coffee I spilled in it. Hopefully not. I'll get that, wait for that to be on a decent pass. Right here. And we'll stop that. So I'm going to bid you guys farewell. I hope you have enjoyed. We will be back tomorrow for another Marwell live stream. Hopefully we've got spilling coffee everywhere. So until next time, hope you guys enjoyed. Catch you guys later. See ya. Shadow.